you know, the wonderful thing about APA and NIMH is we've had a really long relationship. And it's wonderful to see Dr. Insel, Director Insel of NIMH, leading the RDOCS project to ensure to see how we can find those biomarkers that will help us in treatment. APA, as you know, has the Diagnostic Statistic Manual, which is the clinical diagnostic book that people use to diagnose different illnesses and mental health. And those two, the RDOCS and the DSM, I think in the next 10, 15, 20 years, will begin to come together, right, as we find the latest research being done at NIMH also included into the ways we diagnose mental illness. So we know that uh, mental illness and substance use disorders are a biopsychosocial illness. There's a biological component to it. We know already as we look at the different scans that we do that you see those changes in the brain when one has schizophrenia. You see it under the, the RAIS project now that the earlier you get to treat someone with cognitive behavioral therapy and with a antipsychotics stops the sequelae of another attack coming soon. And you see that gray matter begin to shrink as they have more and more attacks. So we work very well together with NIMH, and I think the whole field is looking to the science coming out of NIMH to include it as a way to help get better treatment for patients in this country.